Here I'll describe the LabVIEW programming behind the operation of our MasterFlex pump. The first program that I'll discuss with you, it, it, or actually what we're going to do are two programs, and the first one is the Initialize. We call it MasterFlex Initialize. What it has here are the parameters for the serial connection, the RS-232. It's got baud rate, data bits, parity, stop bits, flow control, etc. <clears throat> so those are set right here and separated into different data streams and input into this Visa Serial Initialize, or what, what is this called? Visa Configure Serial Port, that's what it is. So we configure the serial port with all of these um, settings. Another key setting is COM3. Now in our case we have several COM ports. This really depends on your hardware. COM3 is simply where we connected the physical wire to our box. You will need to change COM3 to your own setting to make this work for you, or, or change this to whichever COM port you are working with. Now, once COM3 is set, that is sent over to this write command, and here we have our first little string of command that is sent, actually sent to the pump, the backslash 05. Backslash 05 is the inquire character, and it basically tells the pump that the computer wants to communicate with it. <clears throat> it wants to ask it something or, or tell it something. <clears throat> so now, after receiving this, the pump sort of wakes up and becomes ready to receive more instructions. There's a little bit of a delay, a uh, 100 millisecond delay here, and then we send the first piece of instruction, and this is backslash 02, which means we're going to begin a character string. P01 is the character string of interest, P01 simply means pump 01, and then backslash R is the end of string character. So it's the P01 enmeshed between the backslash 02 and the backslash R is the command. We're telling it B pump 01, or in other words, we're telling that we're assigning this pump the, um, the name pump 1. Then there's another delay before we close this particular session. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, we have two programs. This MasterFlex Initialize is super important because you're not going to be able to send any control commands until you initialize the pump and give it its name. You only have to do that once. That's why this is outside our other control um, command or control VI. And you'll see this one doesn't have any front panel information. This VI is meant to be embedded. Okay, let's go over now to our simple control. Oh, one thing I should say about the initialize. You have to run this and what you will see <clears throat> is the pump itself, the display will change to P01. Then you know it's ready for this other program to run. In other words, it's initialized and we can do the MasterFlex simple control. MasterFlex simple control is what we're calling our simple control VI. Let's see if it works first. Let's set our pump speed to 300, and we'll set this to on, and we'll press run. And hopefully you can hear in the background that the pump is running. So that's good. To turn it off, I can just press the off button, and then I send that, and now the pump is off. Now you'll notice something interesting here. This program, it really only runs for a brief moment. Notice it says running and then everything turns off and it quits running. When I turn it on, I press run. This program is not running anymore. The pump is running, but the program is not. And that teaches us how the communications with the pump occur. The pump really just receives individual signals and it will continue doing whatever setting it's on according to the last signal that it received. So sending this command of the pump on off is just like turning the pump on and off using a, a button at the pump itself. So the program doesn't have to run continuously and that's important because it's nice that we don't have to run the, the program continuously. We only need to call it when it's time to turn the pump on or off or change the pump speed. Okay so let's see a little bit of what's happening behind the scenes here to help understand the, the LabVIEW programming. This is the block diagram for that MasterFlex simple control. 
Again, we have all of our settings for the RS-232 communications, and we configure the serial port, tell it we want to communicate with it. It's on COM3 again, and notice you have the pump on-off right here, which is connected to this case structure. Now, if it's on, it's true, and if it's off, it's false. Let's start with false so, so I can describe this to you. Here we have another string that looks similar to what we saw in the initialize VI. Backslash 02 is again the beginning of the character. P01 is pump 01. H is the real salient command here. H is halt, and backslash R tells it to end the command. So halt is what we're sending, and it uses this visa write little uh, program to actually send that halt to the pump. And again, we have a, a time delay and the close connection here. Now let's look at the true case. True case is a little more complex because we have to do several things when we want to tell the pump to operate. Um, let's start down here. This is where it really begins. We have a boolean true false and what is this guy? Let's go find the control there. Okay, this is the pump direction. Reverse or forward. Forward for true and uh, false for reverse. So if it's true, what that does is set a plus sign and send a plus sign along its way. If it's false, it sends a negative sign along its way. And then it goes over to here. It gets combined with this next line, and this is the pump speed. And we can find that control, and we see we can adjust the pump speed here or here, like we already saw. And the uh, this box converts the numerical <clears throat> type of data into a string and then that string is connected with the plus or minus sign and goes on its way. Now we we wedge that in between these two others and so we have the uh, backslash 02 P01 is the pump or the initialize and the pump and then S is the command to set the uh, pump speed and direction. So we're setting the pump speed and direction to the plus 300, 200, whatever it is. And then we have the G zero backslash r which g essentially means go and g zero in this case means go continuously uh, means run continuously until and keep running until you receive a halt there is an option the um, master flex pump does have an option to operate for a certain number of cycles but in our case we just wanted to run continuously so that's what we have here um, all of that is what is brought to the the visa write command and again it writes it to the pump we have a delay and then we close the connection the other interesting thing though is we have this concatenated string and this is really just for debugging so that we can see what's going on so we'll right click on that and find indicator here's the concatenated string so let's run this again and we'll see that the concatenated string that it received this time was po1h which is, was just the halt command for pump number one. If we turn the pump on and run it, the string that was sent is PO1 S plus 300 G0. And again, the S, S means set the pump speed and whatnot to positive 300 and go continuously. Uh, let's try altering the pump speed to 400 and run it again. And here we have PO1S plus 400G0. All right, I think you probably get the, get the point now. Let me turn the pump off. And that is a brief introduction into LabVIEW communications with the MasterFlex pump.